Hi there, I'm Marisa and welcome to Marisa Home. I'm so happy you're here. Today we are going to do my abuelita's ground beef and potato flautas. It is a family favorite and um, it's really easy and it's really good. So I'm excited that she shared this with me and I have to share it with you and my family. So let's get started. All right, so I have about four or five medium-sized russet potatoes that are be boiling right now. I had that going early because that takes about 35 to 45 minutes, um, and I wanted to make sure that we could get through this. So um, that's the longest part. If you have that prep beforehand, that's awesome. This will go even quicker. All right, timer ended, so we're just going to take these potatoes out and just put them off to the side so they can cool off and once they are cool we will um we'll peel off the skins now that the potatoes have kill, uh, cooled off we can go ahead and peel off the skins as you can see um, because we boiled with the skins on it just comes off super easy so we'll go ahead and peel these potatoes So let's go ahead and get started with the ground beef. I am using an 80-20 ground beef. Um, you can use any portions of that that you like. Uh, the recipe calls for a half a pound. I have about a pound and a quarter, and I'm just cooking the whole thing up, and we can use the rest of it for some other dish, maybe like spaghetti or something. I was really excited when my wife shared this recipe with me. It actually came to me um, in a card. Uh, in the mail because my girlfriends um, for my bridal shower asked everybody to um, send in their one of their favorite family dishes, um, dish recipes. So then I had a whole box of recipes that I could make for um, us and our family to come. And so when I saw this one, it just um, brought back a lot of memories of when I would go back and we would see her. And it was my dad's, my poppy. It's his one of one of his favorite dishes. So um, she would always make it for us. So yeah, that's a special place in my heart. And I'm glad that my kids can do it too. All right. So now that it's browned just a bit, we are going to put um, in some garlic salt. And just like <laughs> my Alita, there are no uh, measurements. So just kind of put as much in as you like. Taste it as you go, add some more. But remember, you can't take away. So. <laughs> All right, a little bit more, and then this is all ready. We'll let this cool a bit. And we'll switch these pans around. So, in the cast iron, I have um, corn oil. I have, I don't know, um, maybe maybe a cup of corn, corn oil. I really don't measure it. I just do um, until it kind of covers all over and a little bit more. So uh, enough to fry your papas. We'll go ahead and get these heated up and we'll mash the potatoes so we bring those over. We've got our cute potatoes. The skin's off and we'll go ahead and give this a mash. And then we'll add some salt, again, there's no um, measurement in the amount of salt that you need to add. Uh, in our family, um, more salt is not always a little bit better, but you know, do what's best for you. <laughs> this is to your taste. Now we combine the ground beef and the potatoes together. Like I said, I, um, I cooked up a, almost a pound and a quarter of the ground beef. Um, the recipe calls for half a pound. So use your um, best judgment on how much you want to use. <laughs> There's no right or wrong combination there. Um, and that looks about right. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. I have some tortillas here. I wish I could say I have a recipe for tortillas. I don't yet, but that is something that I am working on. So check back later and keep me to my promise. 
right now. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm going to work on tortillas um, this year and we'll have it posted. All right, so we take the mixture of the potatoes and the ground beef and we just line it up in the tortilla. Like so. Roll it and then place the tortilla into the oil, seam side down. And I like to hold it just for a minute, just so I know that it's not going to open up on me. And then you can you can fry it up about three or four at a time. All right, nice golden brown. These are looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off. And we'll get the next batch going. All right, this last batch is all done. So we'll take these off. Let's see if I can make a bit more room on this tray. Gosh, this smells amazing. They look amazing. Let's check out one of the early ones that I know is cool, so I can actually add keto. Should I just rip it? Yeah, I should just rip it. That ground beef and potato flautas. So good just as is. But of course, you can add your um, salsas and your cheese and whatever else on the side that you want to serve this with. But this is how we always ate them, just straight up like this. And it reminds me of a time when I was really, really little. I might get emotional. I think you guys have heard me say that before. We would just be sitting on the back porch, which I was, thought was the front porch because we never went in the front way to the house, my Juanita's house. And uh, yeah, the sun would be setting and it was summertime in the Midwest, special time of year for us. And I hope that our kids have those memories too. And your family too, so you don't. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Let's make something beautiful.